Today I'm comparing our older Cuisinart pan to a new Cuisinart pan. Both have the exact same model number. One is five years old approximately, and one we just received the other day. First of all, here's our old one. And you'll notice right off the bat, the older box here is quite thicker than the newer one here. But let's get to the details. So here's the nice picture of our original older box that our original pan came in. Here's the model number, MCP22-30HNS, and some of the items on the front of the box there. We'll get down here to the side, and a couple key things you want to key in on. This word, this little part of the box, induction ready. That's really important for us because we have a Wolf induction cooktop that our original pan has been working on flawlessly. We'll flip the box over to the back. And when you go up the back of the box, aha, there it is again. Induction ready. Important for us. And all these other wonderful cooking terms that basically make this pan sound like it's the best thing on earth. And for us, it really has been. It's been working great. We use it every day. And also, once again, there's the MCP22 30HNS model number. And just for the heck of it, here's the barcode. Now let's take a quick look at the pan itself. So after daily use, after five years, it started to peel on the side. So I contacted the kind folks at Cuisinart, and under their lifetime warranty guarantee, they said, no problem, we're going to send you a new pan. And I went, awesome. That's fantastic customer service. And within like a week or so, a brand new pan showed up. And we were very, very happy. And we'll get to that new pan in just a minute. Now this is a little hard to see, but on the bottom of our original pan is some important information. And while you may not be able to read it on here, I'll go ahead and read it to you uh, after I take a quick peek there so you can hopefully see it. And I'm going to back up real quick and read it to you. So we have Cuisinart. We have the model number MCP22-30HNS. We have skillet with helper. This is all stamped into the bottom of the pan. We've got 12 inch slash 30 cm. We've got stainless steel, followed by induction ready, and then what appears to be a little serial number, V, the pound sign, 17882. That's all stamped into the bottom of the pan. Now we'll go over and take a quick look at the new pan that they just sent us. So here's the box, slightly different design, exact same model number, however, MCP22-30HNS. We'll come down here to the side of the box and we're going to notice something's missing, especially folks who have induction ready stovetops that are looking for, and that's the word induction ready. Nowhere to be found on the side of the box, but perhaps it's on the bottom of the box. Unfortunately, not the case, but there is something interesting here, then this may mean something. Our old pan just said stainless steel. This new one says 1810 stainless steel. Cleans easily to original brilliant finish. Remember that as we go through this quickly. So induction ready is nowhere to be found on this nice brand new box that they sent us. And we'll just key in on this UPC code so you have a copy of that as well. You can see that. And we'll notice some differences on the bottom of the pan as well. When we flip it over, like last time, I'll, I'll read it to you because it's a little hard to see with a nice reflection. Cuisinart stamp there. We have the model number, MCP22-30HNS. Then we have non-stick skillet. We have 12-inch slash 30CM. And now here's where we have a little difference. 18 slash 10 stainless steel, which that does match the box. And then we have made in China. But one of the important things that's missing, induction ready, not stamped on the bottom of the new pan. And then just to take a quick look at both pans together, you can see that to the, they basically look exactly the same other than one is brand new and the other one has seen some better days. So there they are. Understanding is if a pan isn't truly induction ready, a magnet will stick to the bottom of it. So let's try that out and see if that's actually true. Here's our original pan. And here's the bottom of the pan. We have this old, this funny old magnet from the Queen Mary. 
And it's a great, great thing to come visit if you're ever in the Long Beach, California area. But anyway, let's stick this on here and see what happens. Awesome. That is definitely a magnetic bottom. Now let's take our new pan, again, with the exact same model number. Put our magnet on there. Well, that's not good. So right off the bat, the bottom of the brand new pan with the same exact model number is not magnetic. Let me grab one of our all clad pans. It's also induction ready. Just see if this magnet thing is really true. So we have a small little pan here. This is all clad and this one pan probably costs uh, as much as a whole set of Cuisinart pans, but quite honestly, we love the Cuisinart pan and we use it the most. But anyway, for the magnet test, here we go. There we are. Sticks on there, no problem. Now let's head over to the stove top. All right, we're over here at the stove top. We have a, a newer Wolf induction stove top. It's been working fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. hit that there. Okay, so now I'm going to grab our original pan. I'm going to set it right on here on the burner. And on our induction cooktop, whenever a pan that is induction ready is sitting on the burner and it's actually functioning properly, the red lights will stay constant. Just like that. That means it's heating up, it's getting hot, all is well. So now I'm going to change this pan to our new Cuisinart pan and see what happens. Okay, the pan is sitting on the burner, and you'll notice the lights are flashing. That means the stove does not recognize this as a induction-ready pan. And we'll go ahead and throw our all-clad induction on there just to make sure that everything is all right. So we'll just throw that on there. This is our little one, and now we're immediately back to normal. All is cooking fine. In summary, here's what we got. We have two pans, the exact same model number. One is about four and a half years old, and one is brand new. And I also noticed, you may have noticed earlier that I was taking uh, a little video of the UPC code. I compared the UPC code on both boxes, exactly the same. This to me is a big issue. When you make a big change to a pan, or any product, such as the uh, GM ignition switch, we know how that all worked out, and you maintain the exact same model number and then you change a key feature, and a key feature being induction ready, that's gonna cause confusion in the marketplace, confusion with the salespeople, and unhappy customers. So Cuisinart, please take a serious look at this and consider changing the model number of the pans that are no longer induction ready. Thanks for watching and I hope this uh, helps other people who have perhaps run into the same problem.